One huge problem with video calls is that if you look directly at the image of the person on the other end, to them, it feels like you're not looking at them at all. But if you make it feel like you're looking directly into their eyes, then you can only see them in your peripheral vision. Ideally, you can look directly at their image and have them feel that connection too. If you're a coach or practicing telemedicine, this is really important. You can make that connection, but you also need to see their reaction as you speak. I'm Brighton West, and in this video, I'm gonna share a solution to this problem. I've been trying for years to solve this problem. There is no easy solution, uh, at least not that's been invented yet. The manufacturer of this device loaned one to me, and it's the best option available right now. What it does is bounce part of your computer screen in front of the camera using a two-way mirror. It was originally designed as a teleprompter so that you could read a script while looking at the camera, and this is a bonus use. And if all you need is a teleprompter on your computer, I've got another video comparing this to a cheaper option up here. So here is the Bodolin desktop teleprompter. You can see it's a really thin, so it's easy to travel with. And I'm gonna be using the internal camera on my computer today, but it actually works a little bit better with an external camera. I'm just using with the, the most common setup that you might already have. So we'll start by going over to Zoom. So uh, I've already got a Zoom meeting up and my wife Kat has agreed to help us out here. The first thing we'll do is we will go into the Zoom window and pin the other person's video. That way, no matter who is talking, the person that you're talking to is showing up in the big window. And then you're gonna reposition this to the middle, kind of small, maybe four or five inches across and right below your webcam. Now you'll take the Bodolin teleprompter and adjust the back a little bit and put it over the top of your webcam and then pull out the mirrors. Now you can see you can see directly through that top mirror. That's the two-way mirror. So I'm going to take the black uh, fabric that they provided and put it over the back side and you'll see the magic that happens. Okay. Now you can see that we're starting to reflect uh, better uh, what's coming through on this side. But the Bodolin does have, the, the fabric that they give you has this little opening in the back, so you need to close that off. There we go. Uh, and the next thing I like to do is turn up my monitor as bright as it can possibly go. So nice and bright. And now we'll do some mirror adjusting so that we see the other person reflected in the mirror right where the camera is behind. So ideally their image is right in front of the camera lens. And you might need to adjust the zoom window down or up and around to make that perfect. So there we go, that's pretty good. So when you're using a webcam, there's a possibility that you'll have some of this uh, screen coming through and it needs to be black behind that two-way mirror. So I've just cut out a little piece of construction paper here that I slip behind in these situations. Now make sure it's not going over your camera or the other person won't be able to see you. Now, there we go. Now you can see her better on screen. But you'll need to look into the top one to make it look like you're looking eye to eye with the person on the other side of your video call. I've used this on a number of video calls and it's great. It's not perfect, especially if the person on the other end has bad lighting, but it feels so much more natural to talk to a person than to talk to a little lens or a light, or in my case, I have a couple of eyeballs where I'm supposed to look. I started with the Glide Gear version of this device and it just didn't cut it. I was really skeptical that this would be any better, but it's day and night. I've made a video comparing the $150 Glide Gear to the $450 Bodolin. You can watch that video up here. I'll see you in the next video.